It means hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it is finally over. The pain, the torture, the misery, two decades of it. Since I was nine years old, Tom Brady has ran the NFL. That is the start of my sports fandom to now, you know, a midlife crisis, maybe in my 30s now. I mean, that's almost my whole sports fan. And this guy has obliterated the New York Jets franchise. Point is wiping his ass with the Mets luxury tax bills. <laughs> he will buy you and your family. He will buy your children. He will buy your pets. He will buy your dogs. He will buy your cats. He will buy every free agent in sight. He is the best owner in baseball, and he means business. Good luck in Texas, Jacob DeGrom. <laughs> Steve Cohen is my uncle. I've adopted him into the Brown family, and I would like 0.1% of his inheritance. He is building a championship and he means business, and he will get whatever player he wants. And we've been waiting for this all 31 years on my planet Earth for the Mets <laughs> to do something like this. And the time to win a championship is now. And 2023 is the year of the Mets. It's the year of Uncle Stevie. Find a quarterback. Can we find a quarterback? We've used two top five picks on Sam Darnold <laughs> and Zach Wilson, and they both sucked. I mean, can we find a quarterback? Bring back Chad Pennington. Save us, Chad Pennington. Vinny Testaverde. Joe Namath, get out of the Price is Right commercials and get on the field. I mean, we need a quarterback. This is pathetic. Josh Hart was an incredible addition. I mean, pairing him with a guy he won a championship in college with and Jalen Brunson and putting them together in the backcourt, he's the kind of player... Performance by the Jets quarterback, and I'm mad about it because... The defense carried this team. They put the Jets on their back, sacking the quarterback. Secondary was good. You know, the run game wasn't terrible. But Zach made some inexcusable throws, T. Rich and Wayne, that made you feel like he regressed today. I was going to ask about that. Yeah, There's it was disgusting. Two words, Dave Gettleman, go. Disgusting. Is that, is that, just call Great. Starling, save us. Starling. Marte, do you, are you watching this? Save the Mets. Starling, come back, you jacked, handsome <laughs> prince. You six-pack, chain-wearing, beautiful man. Save the Mets. Come back. Oh, games you know. one through three will be at City Field Friday through Sunday. Oh, good. I didn't have any plans. Looks One like the time I interviewed Henrik, I thought I was looking cool. I had a blue blazer on. I thought I was looking pretty fresh. And then he's got on like the coolest blazer ever. And he's so good looking. Do you ever just look at him and think he's this man is so goddamn handsome. Like, how do I compare to this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I use that word, but I do shake my head every once in a while. Hey, yo, it's Z100 New York's number one hit music station. I'm Josh Martinez with Jake Brown of New York Post Sports. Thanks for having me in the studio, bro. It's good to be here on the day Miley Cyrus dropped this earliest candidate for song of the year. I've been having that on repeat. So let, we're, we're talking about the uh, the Giants playoff game about to start in just a little bit. I'm going to put you on the spot. I want to score a prediction. Who's going to win the game? 27-24 Giants. Mm. They get revenge for Christmas Eve. And Daniel Jones is about to get paid because he's going to have a big playoff game. That Vikings pass defense is not good. Giants fans are hungry for a playoff win. So get it done. Jake Brown, thank you for stopping by at Jake Brown Radio. It's Z100, baby. Jake Brown, NBA writer for SNY. You can find him on Twitter at Jake Brown Radio. And how about this Knicks team, which I feel like has played pretty well? I'm shocked, honestly, by how good they've been. They have a lot of road woes coming up, and this will make or break their season. So to represent Mets Nation, we welcome in Jake Brown. A guy who played eight home games to do this whole thumbs down, and he started doing it like August 6th or 7th when he was here for a week. I called him on Amazing But True, Mr. Softy. No rainbow sprinkles for you, Javi. Right now on the phone line, I want to have a conversation with someone who can add additional insight to the conversation. Jake, thanks for taking the time to hop on. How are you? First time, long time, JR. We got a hate on Emmanuel on CBS Sports here who gave you a D-plus grade. Gave the Knicks a D-plus grade I for taking. I got that screenshot. I have that <laughs> screenshot. It, do you use that as motivation? Is that like at your locker every day? Oh, hello once again, fellow degenerates. It's a brand new week, so it's time to gather yourselves together and get back to winning ways here in week 14 in the NFL. Here are my three best bets this week against the spread. First off, the Dolphins are five-point underdogs, which means you're going to hammer them 
against the Jets. Before I run into a wall like Almora Jr., I just named every map magical like Masika. If you enjoyed that rap, catch, let me hear ya! Bars! <laughs>